hello. My name is Kyla Evans. I am the Recruitment and Communications Coordinator for the Vagilos Division of Biology and Biomedical Sciences at Washington University in St. Louis. For those of us, for those of you who do not know where St. Louis is, we are literally smack dab in the middle of the country, so easily accessible to everything, which is great. Um, we've been asked to give a short overview of some handy do's and don'ts for your time at the ND STEM conference. So most of you, I'm sure, are extremely excited about the opportunity to meet uh, in person with representatives from the schools that you are really excited to go to, and that is awesome. Some things that I think will help you prepare um, to have really meaningful conversations with those folks are pretty simple things, but things that will stand you in good stead as you develop those sorts of adulting type habits, like having business cards and following up with people. So the first thing that I always recommend to students is do your homework. There's obviously going to be more than one school that you're interested in. And while the programs may be similar, the requirements and the expectations for those programs at the individual schools will vary wildly. So make sure that you do your homework. Make sure you visit the website for the schools that you're interested in. Check out some of the faculty, see if you can connect with some of the students or at least find out a little bit more about them. And make sure that it's a place that seems like it is going to fit you holistically as a whole person and not just uh, you know fit your academic goals. Remember, you're going to be in graduate school for an extremely long time, at least five to seven years studying whatever it is that you plan to study. So you wanna make sure that the place that you're attending is a place that will support the whole you, not just the science part of you. Um, another handy tip that I would recommend is to make sure that you have some sort of contact information on you, whether that is a condensed form of your resume, a business card, um, even something as simple as like a QR code, like, you know, that just goes to your resume or something like that. Um, because a lot of times you will be pressed for time, booths will get busy, you may be in lines and not really have the chance to really get as in depth with an exhibitor as you would if say you had, you know, two hours, and nobody else was around. So you want to make sure that you can get them your contact information as quickly and easily as possible so that they know who you are and they can follow up with you more easily. You may not be able to get directly on their mailing list, as I said, because you, you might be stuck in a line and the exhibit hall closes, but at least that way you can drop it on the table, you know, hand it directly to a person, put it in a collection bowl. That way they, you know, can add you to their lead retrieval and make sure that you are on any sort of mailing list that they have so that you can be kept apprised of what's going on at that particular institution events and things like that. The other thing that I would recommend is in addition to being prepared in terms of, you know, the expectations of the school, that you should prepare and be, you know, really mindful of the expectations you have for going to graduate school. It's all very well, you know, to go and I want to go to Harvard or I want to go to Columbia or wherever it is that you might have aspirations to. But just because a school has a top-notch name doesn't necessarily mean that it's a top-notch fit for you and the kinds of programs that you are interested in studying. So I would say make sure that you know what you need from an institution, whether that's making sure that it has a robust community engagement like we do at Washington University, or looking for an environment that is you know, predominantly a collaborative one, again, like ours at DBS, um, and other things like that that will help you to determine whether or not a school is going to be a good fit for you. Because the more that you're able to kind of align it with the criteria that you're looking for, the less time you waste in finding and, and researching schools that may or may not be a really good fit for you, not just as a, a budding scientist, but also your personality and who you are and where you like to live and the things that you like to do. So I would say part of doing your due diligence is making sure that you have a list of things that are absolute must-haves wherever it is that you plan to attend for your graduate education. The last tip that I would say is to have fun with this. This is a stepping stone for you to pursue not only like additional and graduate education, but for you to kind of move into being an adult and being a scientist or a researcher, or a public advocate, whatever it is that your, your ultimate career aspirations are. But this is one of the first steps that you will take to make that a reality have a good time because this is something that you want to be able to do for the rest of your life. So it needs to be something that you can enjoy. And one of the best ways to do that is to make sure that you are actually 
taking the time to appreciate where you are and who you're talking to and the peers around you. Make sure that you're not just networking and connecting with people like me, but also with your fellow students, because they ultimately are going to be the group of people that as when you become a working adult, those are your colleagues. So you want to make sure that you're establishing those good solid relationships, not just with folks like me who are wanting you to come to our schools, but also with people that, like I say, eventually are going to be your work colleagues. Those would be my helpful tips for a successful conference. Um, and I highly suggest that you come by and visit the uh, DBBS booth and the Washington University corner that we will have at SACNIS. There will be not just me, but representatives from our um, medical scientist training program, as well as our medical school and the Office of Postdoctoral Affairs. So I hope to, we'll see you uh, in Puerto Rico this year and best of luck to all of you on your graduate school search. Hi everyone, my name is Lisa Paz. I'm the Senior Director of Engagement and Advocacy for the American Indian Science and Engineering Society, ACES. I'm a citizen of the Pawnee Nation of Oklahoma. I'm also Comanche and Mexican American, and I will be exhibiting at the SACNIS uh, conference this year. Very excited to see you all there. And just wanted to give a couple tips, um, especially if this is your first time. Um, I know the exhibit floor can seem a little overwhelming with all of those booths and people. So first I wanted to say um, it's okay to be nervous. Um, pretty much everyone's gonna be a little nervous out there, but don't let that stop you from engaging and asking questions and talking to the different exhibitors. Um, we're all really excited to talk to all of you. <laughs> That's why we're there. So please, please make sure you, you put those aside and it's okay to be nervous. Um, when, uh, some things that you should definitely bring, um, resumes, bring, bring like a stack your resumes. Everyone's gonna want them. If you have business cards too, those are really helpful. Um, and if you also collect the uh, business cards from the exhibitors, reach out to them afterwards, especially if they've got an opportunity you're particularly interested in. Um, many exhibitors have been to a lot of conferences around that same time. So that will really help you kind of stand out after the fact and um, keep you kind of top of mind. Um, so don't forget to reach back out to the exhibitors that you have that you're really interested in working with. Um, and don't be afraid to ask questions. Um, if you prep ahead of time by looking at the exhibitor list and kind of finding which top organizations you wanna make sure to visit and visit them first and early. Um, and then if you research them a little bit, find out about some of their opportunities, um, things like that, then you can have some really great questions to talk with them about and get your specific questions answered. Um, and then maybe you've run into some exhibitors that you've never heard of before, you're not quite sure about, you maybe think they don't have an opportunity for you, maybe talk to them anyway, because they might surprise you. Um, we have, a, you know, there's a lot of organizations out there that, that hire for more than one thing, that have programs for more than one thing, or maybe that you've never heard of. So engage with them as well. Don't, don't think that they don't have anything for you, because they just might. Um, one big thing that I always suggest to everyone, wear comfy shoes. Um, it's no fun to be at the exhibit on the exhibit floor with really sore feet and trying to have a conversation. <laughs> so wear comfy shoes, some that can last you um, all day long because you might want to be there all day long um, for a couple days. So um, comfy shoes are really important, um, but also don't forget to take breaks. Um, you know, getting, getting out of there where there's so many people that can be really helpful get, you know, gather your thoughts, think about some of the interactions you just had, jot down some questions you may have for um, exhibitors so you can know to go back or can reach out to them afterwards. And, you know, just have some, some time on your own or go see a, a good session. There'll be plenty of those as well. Um, oh, and you know what, another great idea is if you're presenting research there, invite the exhibitors to your research and to check that out. They might not get a chance, but um, they'll love the invite and they may look into it later as well. Um, so yeah, just, you know, making sure you get a chance to chat with all of the exhibitors that you're interested in by looking at the list ahead of time and kind of planning your path through that exhibit floor. Um, you'll, you'll be able to do that, ask lots of questions and just know that we're here to see you. We want you as part of of, um, our organizations to take advantage of our opportunities. So we're really excited. Don't get too nervous around us. Um, we're happy to see you and be there.